All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. More than five years apart with similar height and the same reach. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. The evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 16 wins, six losses, and one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Paul Beju And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Delray Beach, Florida, USA, Allen. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corner, come back You ready? You ready? That's right, so here we go with round one. And when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all costs. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get right. back to his feet. And quickly. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're gonna find yourself tapping and really wondering why, why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submissionist on us, huh? Ah, it's crazy. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? There's no tell on that leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, a huge block there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Protect your face. 
Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Strong defense there to block the shot. Again, back into this position. Immediately gets the underhook. Boy, Ty Plum. Ooh, big shot lands. Nice leg kick. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Big kick lands. Oh, big head kick lands. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big kick land. Punch is blocked. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, nice knee to the head for him there. Head kick. There, huge block for him. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Not there. Left hand punch in the clinch. It's the elbow there. Straight right hand, no good. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Round two next. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Head strikes. Come on, guys, keep it moving. Let's go. Big kick. Stay busy. You control this. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Just missing on the uppercut there. There it is, take a shot now. Take a shot, there it is. Dig and kick. Let's pick up balls, let's get going now. Moving to his left now. Control this fight. 
Just over three minutes to go now. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. What a punch. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Right hand punch from the clinch. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, nice right hand. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Just missed with the left there. It's okay, keep going, keep going. Oh. working at trying to shut the liver down. Able to check that kick as well. Come on, man. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Let's focus. Let's focus now. You can't take many of those. You better check. Nice body shot there. Clinch position. Look for the opponent to try to circle off of the side of the octagon, get back to the center where he can dictate the pace and the pressure. Ten seconds remain in round two. And that's the end of round number two. Watch it, there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big ball for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He blocks the punch. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Left hand punch with the clinch. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Switching stances here. Wow! Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go 
Chase that finish down now. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Oh, nice. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, nice guillotine there. You gotta scramble. You gotta scramble. And he's out. Tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Nice kick. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Hey, set him up, set him up. There it is. His misses are entertaining. <laughs> Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Way to mix it up. Unbelievable elbow land. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Ooh, what a punch. Final seconds here. Visibly limping here. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene.
striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Left hand punch from the clinch. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Bell head kick. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. And everything's landing with so much power. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Three minutes remain in the round. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed into a knee to the body, it could in the night. Right him down. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Just misses with that one. Oh, single collar tie here. Punch coming, it's blocked. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Circling to his right. Oh, he's open for the shot. Take the shot. Keep busy, guys. Keep busy. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Protect your face now, protect your face. 30 seconds now to go in the round. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it oh. shows. He needs to start looking. Oh! its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. It looks like we're tied going into the next round. I need you to take a deep breath and recover. Game plan is gonna change. I need you. 
All right, last round. You ready? You ready? It is the fifth and final round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Punch over the top. And he landed the right hand there. Big leg kick lands. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Back to the jab now, no good. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Let's go, get off first. Just misses there with the left. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. That's a big strike right there. What a body kick. Let your hands go, let those hands go. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Slips the punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Blocks the shot. All right, getting late in the fight. It has been all action to this point as we go down the wire. Could be anybody's fight. Anybody's fight. Both of these guys prepared very well for this competition, and it showed in such a tremendous fight. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. That was a thudding leg kick. Let him go. Time to let those hands go. Nice defense there. Huge block. Real sneaky body kick. Nice combination of strikes to the body. He really has made it a point to attack that part of his opponent so far so good. Not looking for the knockout early. He understands that the longer this fight goes, the body strike will become even more important. He lands a big knee to the body. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Beautiful strike. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, huge block! Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. and counting to go in the fight. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Set it up a little bit better this time. Set it up. Four knees. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Good punch, Lance. to go in the fight. Let's go. Let's take this round. Single collar tie now. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body and eventually him switch it over. Oh. Big knees to the head. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's hurt. He's hurt. Gets up again here, but hurting. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. A 
a little struggle here now for position in the clinch. And we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent. You've got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. The winner by unanimous decision, Allen! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight.